penis. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, welcome. Hello and welcome to episode Welcome 19. to the first episode of Fatal. <laughs> no, <laughs> we, we are never ever playing Fatal. Maids on the other hand. Yeah, maids. We you still haven't played maids. <laughs> I'm saving it for when someone needs a rest. Do you actually know how to run maids though? I've been reading it. Oh good lord. Okay, so uh, what was it we, you were saying? We're on episode 19. Episode 19. Yeah, we can... No, I don't think there's any special thing you can do at 19 in the UK. Yay. You're you just can stab a person and then go to prison for 19 years. Well, that's true, but you could do that when you were 16. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's 19. No, they'll, oh. like, if you kill someone, they'll generally try to try you as an adult. Okay, fair enough. Because, you know, you just murdered a dude. Come on. <laughs> okay, so we right, last we, left we, off. Yeah, we last left off. You just killed another green dragon and you'd stopped overnight to repair. God, there's a lot of green dragons around, there aren't are there? a lot of green dragons. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You'd, you'd think they'd be happy about us going to stop the war, but hey, whatever. Who do you think the cause Yeah, the they're either want to be outdumped by us. That's the problem. I mean... There's good dragons and there's bad dragons. Speaking of which, do we work for a good dragon or an asshole dragon? You don't know. Hmm. Oh you man. You what if we've been killing a... a bunch of green dragons and the dude who's sponsoring us is a green dragon? Whoops. <laughs> Not all green dragons are shit. Yeah. Just so... like look, just looking at the patched holes, like is that is that green dragon scale? Where'd you get that? What the. What the fuck? Jeremy? <laughs> no, no, no. All green dragons are shit. The only uh, difference is some of them are subtle about it. Yeah, they've all, all they told you is that they work uh, for the great dragon of the north, Clouth. Is all that they have told you. Man, we should have, we should have asked at the temple, who the fuck is Clouth? <laughs> well, who indeed? Oh, you yeah, red dragon. Who knows? Because I remember what you were saying to me out of game about how you want to murder Suba. Well, I always want to murder Suba. He wants to murder everybody. It's not. That's, that's well, we... the curse of a DM. Well, we were using red. I don't think it's a curse of the fight. DM. I think that's just your own particular. That's, oh no! Yeah, sorry. That's the perks of a DM. Statistics. <laughs> the perks of a DM. Okay. Okay, so uh, we were stopping. They were going to repair a little bit more of the uh, ship for us. Yep. Yeah. They've repaired. Since they've been at Silver Moon, they've repaired two whole points of damage. Yay. Because Kindra really fucking did a number on the balloon. We've got to repair about 30 points of damage, right? 29. Oh, okay. Okay, so the morning comes along, and you travel on to Stone a Stand. Do you ever get the feeling of deja vu? <laughs> Man, here we no are back, deja vu here. back at the tree. I would grab one of my vials oh, of look, poison Kendra. for it into a drink. <laughs> are all our tokens up to date on there, by yeah, the way? Yeah, still seven. By the way, I think it's going to be going initial D. Fucking have a giant. <laughs> Oh my god. Go. <laughs> okay. I'm dying. Good. Oh, we're yeah. all just Riddle's just hanging in the air by the power of the immovable rod. Oh no, now we're back on the ground. Yeah. So, so like, we've, we've had a chance to rest, right? Yes. So you you are walking towards uh the stone stand. Uh, from, what is the approximate time? From a mile away. It is uh, about early morning. Maybe 10. And you see uh, this lonely hill uh, surrounded by what look to be burial cairns. And on this hill is a very large oak tree. What would you like to do? 
I'm going to go up to the tree and take a piss on it. <laughs> go ahead. Should Everyone mock it up. His- Together. Walking up to the tree. Yeah, I'm assuming we're all just going to march in formation towards the tree. Yep, yeah, just walking up here. Back from your trees. Yep, here we are. To- totally never been here before. Yep. And then I cast Tasha's Hidgey Slough on Dinian. <laughs> Let's see. Uh-huh. Alright. So, who's going to take right. the life? I took it last time. Should I take it again? What? The blow from last time. What Drew, blow? what? I'm not saying anything. Okay. What you? Hush your mouth. All right. So didn't he get there? Go getting his dick out for a piss. What are you doing? I had a piss, man. I was spent all night drinking and playing. With himself. Trying to play. <laughs> no, trying to play the loot. The bloodstained loot. <laughs> all right. Can everyone? I would, would like to place? cast jump on Bellatrist. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, who has negative one initiative? Anyone that's got armor. Uh, anyone who's wearing heavy armor, basically. Oh, Ooh, 17. I am a little slow. It's because you're too busy pissing. Well, oh, actually, wait, that's like... Yeah, for all if anybody will remember, has anybody read American Gods, there's a line in the beginning where always be on guard when you're pissing because you can't do anything while you're pissing. Well, you can piss. <laughs> exactly, that's hey. the only thing you do. That's, that's like the one time in jail you should be on well, alert wait, most so because that's when people are going to come for you. Anyway. Alright. So, oh, it's a ghost. Yeah, ghost pig. Oh. Super <laughs> shits his pants. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> a ghost appears. Ooh. Well, I've already got my I... bow drawn. I cast um, magic weapon. Uh-huh. And I'm going to let some sharpshooting shots go off and get to the uh, ghost. Wait, I feel like a... a tiny bit of explanation. Pardon? Bonus, oh, bonus action. Wow. You want a tiny bit of explanation. It's a ghost. So the guys at home understand. A ghost came out of the tree. That's what they understand. Hush and mush. So upon waiting for something to happen, I put some gibberish over the uh, bow, which then begins to glow slightly. Then let off two shots very quickly. Overdrawing overdrawing the bow in the process. A shot. Bow shatters. That hits. <laughs> Does the bow shatter? No, the bow doesn't shatter. Because <laughs> I'm just saying, you said you were grumpy. <laughs> no, I'm not grumpy. That's the first that shot. yesterday. Uh-huh. Plus 15? Bloody hell. Yeah, because yep. he's, um, he's got a feat that lets him minus 5 from his attack, and then plus 10 to the damage. Wow. Also hits. Wow. Similarly, I mean, Bell- Bellatrix has also got I've the got same. S- I've got axe. the same with my axe. I can do the same. That's why I do so much damage. Okay, can I ask a question? Why is he rolling at advantage? Is that one of the sharpshooter pucks? He's or is it just... He's just... He's got, for some reason, he's using a macro for a normal roll. Because he uh, doesn't... Because he can't... Because he's lazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow, he is lazier than you, Dan. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> in, in this one aspect, yes. Because I actually like typing out my rolls. Anything yeah, else, just... Gerald? No, that's me do it, yeah. Alright. No. Suba, Gerald's shooting a ghost. <laughs> I see ghost. I walk up to ghost, who is next to Dinian. I like Slashy. Okay. You, you Slashy ghost. With my magic rippy rear. That hits Rippier ghost. Rippy rear. Rippy rear. I should roll that advantage. It doesn't really matter. Also, you're not flanking. Wait. Snake it damage. It does in case he crits. Well, he's nah. not flanking, so... Nah, it it's snack it. damage I get. Yeah. So, 2d8 plus 5. What? Wait. Nope. What am I... What shit are you smoking? <laughs> yes. Can we have plus 4d6. There you go. Fuck, 15 damage. Wow. The ghost screams and disappears. 
re normie go home. Re. Ah, headphone users. Rip headphone users. That wasn't me for once, guys. <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> Would you like to own up to that, Dinian, or am I just gonna have to shame you for it? <laughs> Dinian in the middle of trying to take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that is the appropriate response when you're taking a piss and all of a sudden a ghost comes out of nowhere. <laughs> tries to, especially when he tries to grab your dick in the process. Yeah. Was he trying to go for my dick? Let me smell your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you coming oh. home at fall in the morning? Because I forgot. Something must be going on. All right, Lucifer. The ghost has dissipated. There is ectoplasm all over Didion's dick. Do you want to lick the ectoplasm? I'ma shuck his dick. Oh god. I cast Wait, he said this isn't fatal. <laughs> Didion's dick explodes. We now have advantage on his dick. <laughs> oh, what's left of it? Oh my god, that reminds me of so shit. Oh. Okay, now, um, but, but what do you ask? <laughs> I think that actually is like a side effect if you fail a roll in um, Fatal. We're not playing Fatal. Shut Fruit up. growing out of the caster's as penis much vagina, as you might want to play Fatal, state, step we are not, not playing, playing fatal. fatal. I will hold my action. Tessel, would you like to do anything? I would also like to hold my action. Bellatrix, would you up. like to do anything? She's going to move closer to the tree. Uh, why, are, why on earth would you guys be expecting to win out? Because it's a tree. It's an evil tree. Evil tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't detect magic. I just, I'm just being paranoid because I'm a fucking barbarian. Well, there's one that's always more. Yeah, so I will be like, start circling like almost around the tree, like watching out for any more that come out, just like... Considering there's hundreds of a couple of dozen Khans around us, there's bored about to be more than one ghost. Surprise fucking prize! There's a ghost. <laughs> oh fuck, that's right there. If you were expecting it. Excuse, excuse me, sir, you've hit up just some mess all over yourself. Here, here, let me come and clean it up. <laughs> Dinian. Go ghosts are terrible at blowjobs, though. <laughs> Most you know ghosts how, how would you know? <laughs> Dinian, can you make me a wisdom save, please? No, can I charisma. zip my pants up first? Charisma save. No, you can't. Charisma save? Oh, boy. Dick you picked out. the wrong one. Yeah, why did I pick charisma? That was silly of me. You picked the wrong one, dude. Crit fail. Because you don't actually have a choice. Fail. No, you it's... You can't give a wrong neighborhood, boy. Never mind. <laughs> yeah... The ghost touched your dick, oh. but your dick is still flaccid. It's probably shrunken up a bit because it's so damn cold. Yeah. Really? You're talking about like you have some great charisma modifier and it's just plus one? It's better than negative one for wisdom, come on. It's better than mine. Hey, I've got a plus seven to persuasion, that's all I need. And it doesn't recharge. I just have charm person, that works fine. <laughs> All right. does, does everyone else want to jump in at this point? Yeah, sure. So it's um, Lucifer's uh, turn first. Yeah, Lucifer first. And then Tessel. Wait, no, what about me? Well, they all held their actions. Oh. Lucifer. Someone's trying to touch your man's dick. <laughs> I got him both the dick. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> If what? I can't have it, no what? one will. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Did it just crawl? What? Why no? Uh, no. Question, as it's such a small target, you have to roll what? it. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, really, it should be like double disadvantage, but that's not a thing. So yeah, no. What are you actually doing, Lucifer? I'll guide it. I'll guide both the uh, the ghost. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Ghost of a dick. <laughs> and I'll fail. You hit the dick. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Roll damage. Is that the actual? <laughs> no. <laughs> Roll damage. Critical fails hit people. 
you no, you you hurl the the lightning bolt into your feet. It's like oh. <laughs> Four rents anxiety, buddy. And and anything else that you would like to do? <sighs> That's it. Pestle. I wouldn't be able to do anything even if I was able to get there. Because that these blocks are over fifty feet, aren't they? Yeah, you're just over seventy foot away. I mean, you don't. You're not that kind of monk. You yeah. throw a dart at it. Okay. Let's see how far can I move. Here. Yeah. I should be able to reach you with a dart without having to roll disadvantage. Yeah, you're good there. Thirteen. Uh, a thirteen will hit. Nice. <coughs> and it's D four, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. God damn it! Stupid fucking pants. <sighs> Seven. Very nice. Yeah. And I get a second attack, don't I? Uh, yes, you do. You can throw a secondary dart. Ooh, very nice crit. So it's 2d4, right? Yes. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> very nice crit. <laughs> oh. I fail crits. I always get them out of the most useless of times. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, can I reach it if I charge it from there? Because that's the only problem. I was kind of aiming to be closer to the party, but you were like, nope, you're going to go right over here, miles away from everyone. Yeah, you run that way. <laughs> uh, no, you probably can't reach it in one turn. I will start charging Axe out, though. All right, so you get to back here. Yeah. <sighs> Dinian, Bellatrix is looking at your tiny penis. <laughs> I'm not really She's paying attention to the penis right now. <laughs> Can I roll for my actual penis length? Because no. at this point, I'm just tired <laughs> of it. No, you can't. I'm tired of it being a joke. I, I want no. I actually want him to. Okay, roll fine. For... Roll the d4. <laughs> what should I? What should I roll? Constitution. One d12. The roll, roll a d4. A d what? No. <laughs> Fuck you. Minus one. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I think a d12 is fine. That way, you know, it's, it's the actual length. No, a d10. D12. D10. Okay, 10, 10 but I get to roll with inspiration. No, D10. <laughs> D10. D10, but I get oh. a plus one for you constitution. Get a D10. <laughs> get a D10. Otherwise, you'll get a D4. Minus one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you it's one minus one, he's, apparently. He's a grower, not a shower. Three flaccid. He's Three flaccid. <laughs> Three flaccid. <laughs> And two hearts. Wait, were you? <laughs> Motherfucker. Did you just really roll for dick size? Yes, you did. <laughs> I've rolled for Can I, roll? I, I have rolled for tit size before, so why Can not? Can I roll for fully erect? <laughs> yes, roll a d4. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, no, that's Only if it gets to add to the three. Well, obviously. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> Minus <laughs> three. three. <laughs> there, it's five inches erect. <laughs> that's that's yeah. some monster you got there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you Maybe for a baby. A couple of blues. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to roll for it. <laughs> Finding the nearest goddamn polymorph fucking item I can. <laughs> what, just to get your dick bigger? Yes. <sighs> oh, 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 well, Kendra's got... Oh. <laughs> yeah. It'll be, it'll be it great because you don't nothing. know spells and it backfires and like. Goes... Actually, yeah, where the fuck is that book anyway? Super's got it. spell book. Yeah, Super's got it. Super's got it? Yeah. No. Nope. Have, to, have to peruse that later. Anyway, I'm going to zip up my pants. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm going to stab the shit out of this ghost. Should he roll to see if he crashes himself in the zipper? No. <laughs> Oh, come on. He, he's put his dick away enough times in a hurry. <laughs> that would explain why it's, you know, so small. You know, after, after all the laughing starts. You're an ass. 
<laughs> but you're not a dick. That will hit. Do I get my sneak attack? You do. Okay. I mean, you know, you got to compensate somehow. I feel so bad. Look, he started. Shut it. your fucking whore mouth. <laughs> I'm oh, never gonna get laid. <laughs> I didn't get laid earlier. Fair point, he did get that barbarian. Remember she when seemed, the, the barbarian kept trying to, to escape complaining. and she fucked both oh, Gideon and Velatris? Yeah. Failed both times. I wonder, well now we know why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was the one who put her to sleep. Yeah, but now God, we know why. Hit dice she four, didn't do 40 games, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> No, D6. Well, yeah, he's Stop huge. trying to overcompensate. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. No. Wait, no, I still got the other action, don't I? Yeah, you got your other, you got your other rapier. Yeah, so I'm gonna stab him again. Alright, stab him again then. <laughs> stab him. That will hit, again. Stab him again. Very nice. Wow, your damage is better than your dick size. <laughs> <laughs> can I... <laughs> can I use... Can I disengage over... Disengage no, over Embellatrix's general direction and then roll sleight of hand to do something vaguely impressive? <laughs> well, I mean, sleight of hand is all you've got left. <laughs> Oh, come on. I walked oh. into that one. Oh. <laughs> but no, you can't because disengage is a bonus action for you, which you use to hit him with your secondary rapier. Uh, well, I, I am so sorry for oh, swashbuckling me, me. That was fucking epic. He is a swashbuckler, yes. Oh, yeah. Which so, case? yeah, you could do anyway. You could just walk yes. over to Bellatrix if you, if you so desired, but you wouldn't be able to sleight of hand because your hands are full. You don't walk right next to her. Wonderful. Gerald! Uh, unsurprisingly, um, I'm going to pull out a couple of more shots and just fire with uh, overdrawing my bow again. Mm -hmm. First one. That'll hit. Is it dead? <clears throat> no. Well, I'm going to shoot him again. That'll miss. No. You hit the tree. Man, Control. probably shatter the arrow in the process. Definitely. Which uh, I curse. Lol. Fine laugh. Tuba! Tuba's gonna stab it. Alright, go ahead. I would like to make sure I'm in flanking position first, though. Go ahead. Perfect. Uh, 25 to hit. That'll get him. And I've got my snack damage again, don't I? I do. 24 to hit. The ghost well, damage. Screaming. Don't. Guys, step up your game. I've killed two now. Oh, we could You've really just come in to mop up after us. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I've killed two. Yeah. Step up your game. <laughs> okay, well, I guess the only real, real way to tell us if we all just back off and let Suba just knock, knock yourself out, Suba. Hey, Suba. A ghost of his! Oh, shit, Who son! Who fucking would have guessed? <laughs> Honestly, this encounter is so Yeah, realistic. good job killing the fucking ghost, Suba. They don't even yeah. stay dead. Who's gonna grab yeah, this Suba. time? Lucifer, so, can let's you make the kill? a different ghost each time. It is a different ghost each time. They look different. Go on. Shh. Lucifer, can you make me a charisma saving throw, please? Well, yeah, I can. Really it's like you easy. Yes, so easy. Also one. Really Slap the ghost. If you take control of it. Oh! 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 <laughs> Dan finally gets his wish. A I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Appears and leaps into Lucifer's throat. Lucifer oh. starts to gag. That's not the first thing that's been in his throat. 
I thought we established that Dinian wasn't big enough for that. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Someone completely different. Alright, let's open up. Lucifer's sheet. Uh, does that mean that it takes his turn instead, or does he have to skip it? That's a good question. It probably take his turn. Hang on, let me make sure that there's no other way that you can... <coughs> Here comes oh, the horn. Here comes the horn. Well, thank you for that idea. <laughs> but, the sh horn. but no, it doesn't because the horn is still oh. charging. <laughs> it's still got two tigers, though, doesn't it? The lions. Got lions. Thank you for Will that you idea. Will you guys shut oh, up? Shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Like um, you know what? I'm not even mad. I hope the tigers do main you all. Look, there's one thing about, you know, for God's sake, really? Really? Couldn't go the whole thing. Oh, oh, this is bad. See, there's one thing for, you know, straightening things out in the sense of what would happen in terms of role play, and then there's giving, him, giving the DM mass advice and really screw the party over. Alright, let me just look up what the uh, the lines do again, because I don't quite remember. You're going to learn to shut your mouths today. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that Daniel was going to use the uh, chalice to summon the people first. No, that's still on recharge. You've got, what, two days yeah. left, isn't it? Yeah, but... Um, how f like, two, one or two days. Yeah. Like, it's, I it's, wasn't it's the one that said the tigers. The lions. Um, I will stress, how would the ghost know about these things? Because so he, has these... his, he can see inside Lucifer's head. Head. He is possessing Don't... Lucifer. He has complete possessing... and utter control of Lucifer. Complete, complete control, yes, but not necessarily access to his thoughts. I'm assuming that possession but... would involve in some way being able to access yeah, their thoughts it's and memories. Yeah, the more recent memories, wouldn't it? Not necessarily. Usually that's what it means, though, because possession, yeah. in my mind, it's and like... I'm... No, no, he's right. Huh? Uh, the, Never the, the, doesn't gain Christmas access to the target's there. knowledge, class features, or proficiencies. Oh, nice. That means he does not know about Tiggers. Tiggers. Where do Put you that keep back the in... Tiggers, Lucifer? In his bum? <laughs> I'd keep them in my bag. Alright, so they won't be visible. Then. It wouldn't know about the Tiggers. Yeah, Just them right the ones. fuck back away. Uh, I'm sorry to be a cool joy, but... <clears throat> I just kind of assumed possession <laughs> meant they would have some sort of access to your... to at least recent memories, but... No. Oh, right. so well, the tyke. instead... Lucifer slaps Tessa around the face with a warhammer. Fifteen <laughs> <laughs> misses. That's a shame. <laughs> uh. Tessa. Oh yeah, if he flings at my fucking head, I'm gonna have to slap the shit out of him now. Yes, uh, you are. Flurry of blows. Okay, so first attack roll. Miss. Nine misses. I just, I just slap against his arm. His uh, <laughs> very heavy armor. Eight. Eleven. Nope. Twenty-five. That'll get you. Ugh, frickin' hell. It's like backhand him. And five. I would like to floor him, please. Ugh. Okay, so as you slap him across the face, you feel a ringing sting slap across your own corresponding cheek. <laughs> oh, yeah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot! You also take five damage. Oh, hell no! Self-wrecked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my Is god. this why you aimed for Lucifer? No, actually, I didn't do that on purpose. Well, I aimed for Lucifer because I wanted to get Lucifer, but I completely forgot about the Tesla Lucifer thing. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it was a good job that Tesla to try and kick him with the nuts. <laughs> oh my god. And then you want to try and trick Lucifer, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> try right, so Lucifer needs to make a deck save, yeah? Yeah, deck story save for him. He has to make above 15, I think. Yeah. 
You're the one controlling my uh, character. All right, right, fine. Fuck, fuck you. Just yeah, just because the DM gets good rolls. <laughs> Six. Yeah, Ethan falls <laughs> on the ground. Yeah, Lucifer uh, falls to the floor. You do not, although you do feel the wind come out of you a little bit as oh. you hear Lucifer gasp for air as well. Can I mention something about we need to restrain him quickly? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just restrain him quickly. <laughs> Bellatrix, what would you like to do? Oh, for God's sake. She hasn't started raging yet, at least, so, but if Tessel is saying, hello, we need to restrain him, she's just going to be like, what the fuck? Um, can she roll a strength test to try and, like, pin him, basically? Yeah, you'd have advantage, because he's, he's yeah. uh, prone. Can you reach him? Yeah. Yeah, I can reach okay. him. Roll a... Sh- I'm guessing it's opposing strength checks. Yeah, it'd probably be... Uh... And I have... I'd say athletics. Mm-hmm. That's 17 for you. Oh, athletics? Yeah. Wait, are you going to do it or should I do it? Uh, you do it, just to differentiate the roles. Rawr, me strong! <laughs> me strong! So yeah, you, you like, you go to try and like almost sit on Lucifer and Lucifer's like, fuck off! <laughs> and throws you to the floor. Okay, at which point I'm like, fuck this, I'm knocking him out. Uh, and uh, I will go to try and like whack him with like the so- with the softer part of my axe across the head. <laughs> Does it make you horny, baby? Yes. <laughs> so you're going to slap him with your maul? Yeah, I'll grab my maul like, to try and knock him out, knock him out cold. Um, advantage I, will, I will throw at uh, advantage, so put me at... Um... Well, he's, pr- he's still prone. Yeah, okay. So this advantage. is where you crit him and yeah. then you just... Uh... Like Kill him. Destro- like a destroy. Destroy. Uh... <laughs> so that's twenty-four. Wait, doesn't the doesn't trying to grapple mean count as the attack? Oh wait, you have two, don't you? Yeah, yeah you I have, have two attacks. Back. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Fourteen points of damage. And I Boink. take that too. <laughs> yes, you do. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. That and then you stop. Do we see you go out while this happens? Well, you, you you would probably see Tessel like physically like jerk forwards as you get slammed on the back of the head. Oh, I thought you were gonna leave it as physically jerk. Would it knock him out though? I don't think it'd be enough, would it? Probably not. No. no. I mean, he is a Goliath and a player character. Fair point. Would it be able to knock out Tessel though? That would, that would only put me at forty points hit points. I'm at thirty-three. I'm gonna die before you do. <laughs> Dinian. Yes. Bellatrix is beating on Lucifer. Yes. What would you like to do? I honestly thought you said beating off then. I was just like, no, that's not what's Well, that, that comes later. Yes. <laughs> Another name off my list. <laughs> well, <clears throat> can I roll Arcana to see if I know how to deal with this possession pickle? Do you have training in Arcana? I have a plus three, but I don't have a thing for Arcana. Then probably not. Oh. You can, you can give this? it a go, but it's unlikely. Maybe you should wait for someone that can actually cast magic to do that. Oh. I mean... Uh, maybe fuck it, I guess I've been injured with you should go all um, southern preacher and go, the power of that finder compels you and just slaps him off. Yeah, can I persuade the ghost to come out? <laughs> you can try and persuade the ghost to come out. <laughs> I'm going to persuade the ghost. Go ahead. You don't want to be in there. You, you don't know my tiny what are you penis? saying to the ghost? You don't want to be in there. You don't know where he's been. <laughs> I command you by the power of Lathander to exit this young man who's filled with Lathander's holy light. So I was gonna watch the room. How much shame do you feel right now? <laughs> oh, that fucked up so real good. You uh, you don't see any visible difference whatsoever, <laughs> other than the shot. increasing shame of the entire party knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> Question: Like while I'm being possessed, do I still know what's going on, or am I just like? Out? Uh, yeah, it's it's like someone else is basically driving you. You you can still see out and you can still hear, 
but you can't talk, you can't move. Oh god, when he comes back round, he's going to give me a smack back, isn't he? Would he, would he be inspired so then, by my... So then, note to self, push Dinny in his tiny dick for blasphemy. I was, I was attempting to bring you out of it with a holy invocation, because I, while I may not believe in Lathander, I respect you and your faith. And you just mocked his faith. I was, I was trying to be a preacher. Yeah. I was trying to step up to the plate and save... By trying to imitate those faith, those faith people that fake it so they can make money. <laughs> no, no, I know. Quite a few. I've, no, I've met fucking preachers like that who are like... Is there anything else that you would like to do? Is there anything you're actually going to do that's useful? Uh, I mean... I mean you can't do anything useful. Wow. Oh. It's wow. It's we didn't bring holy water. Man... I'm pretty what sure if I hit him with Lucifer the manticore poison? Lucifer might have holy water. But are you going to start frisking Lucifer? I'm yes, I'm going sure to walk up to a frost lady. Holy water that could kill Kendra. I'm going to roll sleight of hand on Lucifer. Alright. Can you move close Can yeah. I move close enough? I don't know, can you? <clears throat> That's about 30 right there. No, it's not. It's about 70. Not close enough? Move twice, and then you'd have to use slightest end, but you would be able to use that as bonus action. Which well, let me just move the once then, and I guess that'll have my turn. But you can get there, you can do it as a bonus action, but the DC will be higher. Ah. No, oh, well, I guess I'll do that then. <laughs> Hi. You, you start patting Lucifer down. Damn. Just grab him by the crotch. Uh, oh. <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> What do I grab? Was, was that this dick? <laughs> that was my sleight of hand roll. Your your nine was a sleight of hand roll. No, the six. The six? There is no six. That's a nine. Yeah, no, never mind. The 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 twenty plus six was the nine. Yeah, that's my sleight of hand roll. Yeah. Uh, you what find, do I grab? You you pull out a stick that looks a bit like a candle and smells funny. Um. Hmm. What the fuck? I gestured to Gerald, light me. Um. <laughs> I just pull the gesture. face off. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you pulling what looks like a turd out of his bag? What's the point? Why is Lucifer? It looks, like it looks like a candle, not a turd. I don't know, it's probably a holy yeah. candle. Probably yeah, better mind up some distance away, so. Yeah, you're like um, 30 foot away. You can Thanks. still see it's a candle. This it's is white. brilliant. Oh, are you? Do you know oh, it's white. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking. At, okay, in which case I'm like, I, what? Why are it's you probably blessed by Lathner. I don't know. Light it. Let's see if it scares a ghost. Ghosts are scared of fire. <laughs> yeah, I've got this. <laughs> just bust his bow back and shoot. <laughs> I may need another round to do it, but I'll, I'll, right. I'll get the ghost down. Gerald. <clears throat> Right, using my hand with telepathy, I cast Detect Thoughts on the ghost. Well, more specifically, Lucifer, that's the ghost. Interesting. Da ding da ding <clears throat> So, you, you target it, I'm assuming, at the body that is Lucifer. Yeah, because I'm guessing the ghost inside, so... Lucifer, what are you thinking? Uh, about what? about everything that's happening right now. <laughs> I'm wishing I wasn't possessed and getting my ass beat. <laughs> Alright, so you, you pick up the, the distaste of being his getting his ass beat from Lucifer. Does he notice the um, pen? And then focus, try and focus, see if I can find the ghost with those thoughts. Within the you, spell. Who the fuck... Why is someone... Whose TV is that? True. Not me. No. I'm pretty sure that's actually you, Rum, because every time you talk, that's when we can hear it. No, the TV's off. No, it'll be little Dan. Yeah. I've been muted for quite a while, mate. Every no, now and then. No, you haven't. So what is it you heard? The thing that we hear every time you talk. Yeah. Can you still hear it? Yes. Yes. Anyway. Can you hear it now? 
No. We can hear hashtag coughing. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to put the ball gag in, goddammit. He even sent uh, you one for Christmas. You, you pick up from the ghost. Uh, confusion, mostly, and anger. Right, um... In which case, I'll telepathically ask it why it's so, uh, why are you angry? Calm down. Is there anything we can do to help? Uh, you, you feel it sort of mentally recoil, and then it screams at you, Why have I been denied a place at Ufgar's side? I must regain my honor and destroy you all. Okay, I'm going to focus, and I'm going to keep with him replying. Know what to focus on. I'm going to keep focusing on the ghost. But as I've just said, use my bonus action to send a message and for it to reply back. Uh, that's my turn done. So you're you're doing what with your action? That's my turn done. Okay. I can't do any more than that for this at the moment. But afterwards, I should be able to get the ghost out. Now I've found the ghost. Okay. Super. Do you let anyone know, else know about this? Um, uh, I will gang sign to you what I'm doing, and I'll explain that the helmet will allow me to cast suggestion. Super, are you are you looking at Gerald right now? I would be more focused her? upon uh, what's going on. Yeah, so Gerald the... and Super can't see you gang signing. Uh, which case it's been wasted, but I am trying to. And of course, as I will not speak, um, I can't get his attention, so... I right, would so probably yeah, still be looking like... at him because I'm waiting for him to light the goddamn magical candle that's probably holy and will scare the ghost. Well, you which see case... him, him gang signing then. Yes, in which case he would be if he was looking at me because he would understand it. To which I'll probably be gang signing back, just, just light the fucking candle, you fucking blue skin asshole. Uh, you see me going glass eyed as, as I'm clearly seem to be focused on something. Uh. <laughs> Suba, what would you like to do? Right, so Suba being Suba... He's gonna stick his rapier up Lucifer's ass? No. He's gonna put his dick up Lucifer's ass? I know exactly what he's gonna yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try and charm person. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, what if we go for Tasha's hysterical laughter? Yeah, no. I expect Because then he'd have to make an opposed roll. Uh, wisdom's roll, which he probably still needs to do. Where's Charm Person? Um, I'm looking at you look like because Charm Person, I'm pretty sure we'll get to roll at advantage. Yeah, uh, you attempt to charm a humanoid you can see with range, it must make a wisdom saving throw, and does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it. If it fails the saving throw, it is charmed by you until the spell ends, or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. A right, charm so creature you're, you're casting charm person. Yeah. All right. Nothing happens. The magic just dissipates over it, over Lucifer. Super thought it would be a smart idea. Super did it. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Anything else? Super's gonna look a little bit confused as to why it didn't work. Okay. <clears throat> The ghost will get up because no one actually managed to, to pin Lucifer. Oh dear. Now see, here's the thing. I'm not sure if it can still use its powers while possessing. Pretty sure it just swaps out its for Lucifer's, like the basic set. Yeah, it says it, it, gain, it can use this target statistics, but not gain access to its knowledge, class features, or proficiency. So it can't cast spells, because that's a class fit feature. Depends what the ability is. Down to really... Yeah, he's got, pos he's not, he's got what he got possession. Certain other things it might still have to use, like um, frightening appearance, it might be able to manipulate. Doesn't say if it can still do that though, but mm. I'm assuming if it says 
can't. I, I, I will personally rule that it can't while it's possessing. Well, the fact, well, the fact is, if it can't be injured whilst within a body, then it's yes, a fair exactly. ruling. Uh, he would probably swing for Dinian this time round. Because he has a cat and dog. Lucifer, if you would. <coughs> what am I rolling now? An attack roll against Dinian. Hey, buddy. Uh, That's a shame. Not really. No, I suppose not. Tessel. I don't want to hit him. I'll get hurt. <laughs> I'm going to go with plan B. And I'm going to try and light that candle on fire. Okay. And how are you with doing the... so? Using the gift of fire from the opal of Ildrune that I, ha I have. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. So I don't even have to touch it, I just go, I want that on fire. Poof. Alright, yeah. The uh I'm a new set. Did he <laughs> everyone it else into flame, no. <laughs> Wow, the, uh, you're really just the, you're really the, really the, taking the, out all your impotent rage on me, aren't you? I'm not the one impotent with the rage. Bit. You mean <laughs> Wow. No, please don't. Don't stop it. Do Leave it alone. Do it. Do it. Yes, the candle lights, and a pleasant smell begins to waft from the fumes. <laughs> it's just actually just a scented candle from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> it's it's a stick of incense. Uh, lavender lavender scented. <laughs> it smells uh, like disappointment. Didion just Didion just takes a whiff. He's just like I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what you're expecting either. Oh, so that's oh, no. an action or a bonus action, or can I actually attack? Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look at the, uh, the opal of that's really I think with Cookie's jokes, he deserves fate point. <laughs> fate point. Fate points don't exist. Um, as should. an action, yep, so it was an action, so no bonuses for me. Rip. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, what can I do as a bonus? Still, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's only. Lucifer needs to carry more, like, I don't know, cleansing candles or something. <laughs> I, no, I, bet entire, if I, I bet if I shove uh, this in his face, it'll cleanse him pretty good. I have an entire priest pack. You guys are the ones that pulled out the incense. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to just... I'll probably take um, uh, the dodge skill by expensing a key point. Okay. Just in case he tries whacking me. Well, I trust. Uh... Frowning at the candle, like, what the fuck was that about? Uh, I'm just gonna be like, okay, at this point, I just want to knock him out cold. So, um, using one action, I'm gonna tackle him down again. Like, nope, he's not staying up, he's staying down. Okay. So, this is gonna be again more strength checks. 24. Uh, at least first, you can athletics that. Oh, she's, is she hitting me or are you grappling me? She's, she's, she's tackling you. She's tackling you. I'm basically trying to keep you down. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, I'm impotent. <laughs> gonna light your fucking beard on fire when I see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least I can actually grow a decent beard. Oh, you <laughs> motherfucker! Wrecked. Mine is thick and red. And tiny. <laughs> like your dick. <laughs> okay, so... Nineteen. So do I Dinian actually... starts to rage. <laughs> Impotently. Okay. Oh! And, uh, actually, that's a fair point. After I've tackled him down, I'll start raging as well. And I'm like, I'm really sorry about this, uh, about this, um... Lucifer. Lu not Lucifer, but Lucifer and also, um, my memory is Ghost. gone. Tessel? Tessel, yeah. I'm Tessel. just like, sorry Wait, about you know yeah, that. Yeah, that one dude who's well, right next to you. You, you can guess, yeah. 
I can figure out from the fact <sighs> that you're reacting every time he gets hit that something is wrong. So I'm just like, sorry. Right, so you, you've rugby tackled Lucifer to the ground and you're sat, sat on top of him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, oh no. I don't know. You're uh, not going to be too happy about it in a minute. I'm just going to start like punching him in the fucking face, like raging out and just punch, punch, punch. I'm just trying to knock him out cold. All right. But like, really sorry, Tesla. It's probably going to hurt you, but I'm knocking him out. I'm going to knock this bastard out. Well, 25 will definitely hurt. Yeah. Uh... I'm only punching, but. Yeah, with that, you uh, you basically just like grab his head and, and smack it back against a rock, and uh, Lucifer's eyes roll into the back of his head. Tessel collapses to the floor. I come to for a moment and go, harder, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and the ghost bursts out of Lucifer's mouth. Dinian. I don't think I have an extra attack. No, you I? don't. No. This, this is all damage I'm taking, right? Yes, you you you, you, you both so, take seven damage. Damn, I'm at thirty three. How about are you fucked up, Tesla? <laughs> I'm at tw- well, well, oh, I'm twenty six. Twenty six. <laughs> I'm not doing too. All right, Dimian. The ghost is reappeared. Stab it. Yeah, I'm gonna stab the ghost. All right, stab Baz. No, <laughs> stab the ghost. <laughs> I'm assuming you move up to the ghost first. Hi, yes. Here I am, ghost. Okay, go for it. Smelling lavender-y. That'll hit. I smell pretty. Yeah. Very nice. Is it dead? Nope. Not even slightly. (gasps) Wait, do I have a do I have a uh, free action bonus action? Yeah, you can hit it with your other one. Well, I was gonna say, can I whack it in the face of the lavender candle? You can hit it in the face of the candle if you really want. Aren't ghosts like weak to fire? They think it damaged by fire. You can make me an attack roll and find out. What would the attack roll for that be? It'd be a normal attack roll, I suppose. Well, as you're not actually trying to force it to. Yeah. Alright, roll me uh, a d4. Alright. Yeah, you see like a tiny bit of ectoplasm burn away from the flame of a can. I am I am tickled. Can, the ghost goes purple with the power of lavender. <laughs> Gerald. Right, uh, as I'm still focusing on the ghost, I will, using that ability, I will focus Suggestion into uh, it. Okay. Uh, can I have a same throw? <laughs> Fuck's sake, I'm getting this all off this. Is that Angela Coffin? No, that's that's no. hashtag. Yeah. Oh, shut up. It's not a hashtag. Hope you f- hope you feel better. Hashtag. <laughs> What's that wrong? Uh, it's oh. a charisma, and you cast a spell at it, and you feel the magic dissipate. So it was a wisdom saving throw. It, it, fa- it just though. failed immediately. Yeah, charisma for the oh, saving wisdom. throw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, the the magic dissipates upon contact. Uh, in which case I curse and uh, get ready to stop fine for the next round. Then. Damn it! Super. No, is it you to be smart? <laughs> is it what? Sorry. Is it standing next to someone? It is. It's standing next to Dinian. Then, I will flank with it. Crit it. Which means it does have a magic sword. 2d8 plus 5 plus uh, 8d6. Yeah, your sneak attack doubled as well, so Mm -hmm. 8d6. 
Just making sure that the modifier plus five isn't doubled. Yeah, the plus five doesn't get doesn't get doubled. Good. Forty four damage. Yeah, it just pfft, all over your sword. <sighs> took a shit on his sword. Guys, yeah, it took a up. massive dump all over his sword. You feel very satisfied, and then a ghost appears. Oh, for God's sake! Uh, no, it's not there a drawing. It's a token. All right, uh, Dinian, can you make me a charisma saving throw, please? <laughs> I'm surprised that it's not going oh. for me. I am charismatic as fuck. That was such a nice crit. Such a nice crit. Does it recharge? It does not. Damn. Uh, Lucy for the conscious, Tassel's oh. unconscious, Bellatrest. Okay. There's another ghost. Another ghost. I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck's sake. And this time, I'm, I think I'm in reach of this one, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, at this point, yeah, I charge it, and uh, I am going to reckless and also do minus. Uh, minus, my minus. Minus five. Yes. Minus, yeah. Reckless and minus, because I'm just like, fuck this, I've had enough. Fuck ghosts. Uh, nope. That will hit. Barely. <laughs> Sixteen, because you're raging. Yep. That's twenty-one. And I get a second attack, I believe. Yes, you do. I think you. Oh, it's because I made it a drawing. Hang on. No, it's not drawing. It's token. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and my weapon's magical as well. Yes, it is. <sighs> Twenty-five. You end the last one solo. Yep. And then I just smirk at Suba, just kind of like you were saying. Well, that one went much better than last. <laughs> what did you say you cut out? I said you were saying, because you were bragging about how you killed all the others. And it's like, yeah, you did that with help. I didn't need help on that one. At least I didn't have to kill it this time. Okay, at which point um, I look around, do any more pop up? Nope. And uh, at which point Lucifer still has his uh, water thing, doesn't he? His his cup. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. Do we have any water though? You probably have water bottles. What? Yeah, you probably yeah, have. Water water. Yeah. What I'll do is uh, everyone I'll, has all set. I'll use the. I'll get his uh, thing out. His mm -hmm. his horn that you have. <laughs> <his thing out. laughs> Make him pee into the cup. <laughs> I'll, oh, I'll, 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 I'll pour some water in and, and I'll, I'll give him some and I'll like feed it to him. But guys, we have the gift of restoration. That only actually would that work on a ghost getting possessed? Uh, probably not. Damn it! That only works like cure poison and curses and shit. Doesn't actually heal you. All right. Uh... No. It Lucifer and uh, Tessel, you both gain 10 hit points back and wake up. 10, you said, right? Mm hmm. Actually, come to think of this, I do have this healing potion that's been burning a hole in my pocket since the beginning. Oh, same here. Yeah. What, once they both as come, a, go on. As I get up and rub the back of my head, I look to Bella just like. Just like. Tie me up next time and not try to crack my skull in half. You're a Goliath. I think you could quite easily break out of some ropes. We have like 50 feet of rope. I think that would have been enough. Do I look like I'm skilled in ro with rope? Didion just raises. <laughs> I just chuckle. Hey, wait, sorry about that, but we really needed to get that thing out of you. Yeah, fair enough. Tessel's just rubbing the back uh, of his head. Still stings. Sorry. <laughs> we really have to get that that cup checked out the next time we go into Everland. Get the Lavender Church to check it out. Damn, does this mean we're going to have like a stronger connection now? Who knows? God damn. You do both have a thumping headache. Sorry. <clears throat> I think it'll wear off if one of us doesn't drink from it. Well enough. Just mentions to Lucifer. Dear God, I hope so. 
Gerald will use his elbow and say, well, now what? Gotta find That's the what... artifact. Or the relic. Um, wasn't it supposed to be that they came from the tree, or did they just randomly appear? Yeah, they, they came out of the tree. Right, That's Super's right. gonna start walking over to the tree. Mm -hmm. He's then gonna start casting acid spray on it. Okay. As he does it, does this, does he look at Square in the face? <laughs> <Getting light? laughs> he carves it a face and then starts squaring acid on it. <laughs> I'ma kill you good son. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what damage roll is acid spray for you? Oh, uh, why do you have to ask? Reasons? Because you're casting. Ah, uh, one d six. But first, right? it Give needs to make. Roll. A deck save. Seventh level, right? Pun? Well, uh, when you hit fifth, your thing goes up by an extra dice. So it'd be 2d6. Oh, oh no. Does it? Oh, yeah, all it no. says here is uh, when you cast a spell using the spell slot of second level or higher, you can uh, target... Isn't a... Wait, acid oh, spray isn't a... Oh, fuck. I just now clicked uh, the wrong one. Um, it's a cantrip, so it should... By 1d6 when there. you reach fifth. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. What? So, Suba's just splashing acid on it. Is anyone else doing anything? Um, Joe, Joe, uh, just sit down, just watch you guys work, because she hasn't got anything to add at this point. Okay, so Gerald takes a rest. Yep. Uh, I'm going to try and use my acid splash to try and carve it and fell it. All right. Be very precise. And anyone else doing anything at all? Um, I mean, <sighs> I will, trying to think. Is it safe for me to start digging at the tree? Because I'm assuming if the ghosts are coming up the tree, whatever they want to protect us in or somewhere under the tree. You can start digging under. So the yeah, tree. I will start digging. I'm just ignoring him trying to like acid spray it because I'm like, really, you fucking idiot. And I'll start. Digging. I will. I will also start digging with my dungeoneer's cack. Your dungeoneer's cack. <laughs> Pack. Your dungeon is keg. Kekistan. No, pack. Alright, so the two of you start digging? Yes. Dessel, Lucifer, what are you two doing? I'm sitting my ass down, because I got beat the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I'm recovering from a fucking headache. Hat they, they can all dig for once. I'm, I'm just going to take it easy. Get right. a ration. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. So a couple of hours pass. They're still digging. So are you still acid spraying at the tree? Yeah. Jesus. You, you don't think it's having much effect. Alright. Gerald? I, I, I just look up. Fire an arrow into the sky. That is on fire, or do you have press the digitation? I shake my head. Uh, get an arrow, light the head, and just fire it straight up. Okay. And does it arc I'm down hoping into that the tree? will signal the ship. If it can be seen. Uh, yeah. So the the arrow uh, flies up and then comes back down. Um, as it could do this, I. Uh, then says, have you found it? Oh yeah, I need to look for my darts, don't I? Yeah, you find your darts. They're covered in ectoplasm. Yeah, do we get both or just one? Uh, you just get one. Okay. Dare you to look at it. Super, have you found what you're looking for? I believe it's under here. Under where? The tree. Is it magical? Yeah. I believe so. Could be. Oh. Do you have to detect magic? Nah. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <sighs> dig, 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 dig. <laughs> Is anyone else helping them dig? dig I'll, I'll, I'll help dig now. Okay. Yeah. 
forget yeah. digging. Probably Sorry. would have tried tying a rope around the tree and trying to pull it out by the roots. Ev everyone but Subaru is trying to help dig at this point, yes? Yeah. Yeah. I get a 10 at digging. You don't need to make a check. I didn't Shut do it, should we? I wanted to. Should we? What would that be? Athletics? Alright, so you keep digging. Uh, about 20 minutes later, the, the airship appears overhead. They're like, are you ready to, to winch it up? Yeah, shoot. Shoot the harpoon into the tree. Uh, is the tree That's a bad idea. Artifact? Believe it's under. Then why? Why are we shooting the tree? Suba, don't have them drag the tree out. We'll just dig it up. It'll take do a not, while, but... do not harpoon the tree. The airship is not powerful enough to drag a goddamn oak tree out of the ground. So are we, are we firing the harpoon? Or... No. Wait. No, ignore him. Okay. Fire it at Suba. <laughs> They start, they I look at, aim it at Suba. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Dinian and I go Thieves. Yeah, thieves. Don't shoot Suba. So, uh, so I'm, I'm a good don't move gesture. it away from Suba. <laughs> I get in front of it with a very gen gentic gesture and sort of mouthing the word no. <laughs> I'm not gonna fire this aiming it at him. It's not like they can actually sh pull the trigger, even if they really, really want to. Let's see, uh, plus six. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we keep digging. Yeah, you keep digging for another four and a half hours. God damn. And you eventually find, underneath the tree, a skull. A gigantic skull. Wow, this skull seems super mysterious. I have no idea what it is. Hey, let's pull it out of the ground. I thought you were going to say you put your dick in it. It is, it is wrapped around... Uh, well, some roots are wrapped around it, which you would have to saw off to, to pull it out. Can I Get just that hack bitch it out. with my axe? Yeah, you just hack it out. I'll, I'll hack at it with my axe. You had to certainly clean the skull in two. No, this, it's, it's a giant skull that weighs 100 pounds. So yeah, you, you pull it out. You have a giant skull. Yay. Cool. No, 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 no flavor text of the ghosts being like, oh, we're free. They're dead. You see a lot more ectoplasm start gushing out of the tree. <laughs> oh, God. You all get facials. Okay. All right, let's get the fuck out of this place. I make a gesture to Super. It says, Is this a sign of, um, of lavender? No. So this isn't Maybe. a blessing of Plathodur. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a blessing of Ulfgar. <laughs> We're definitely getting bars back in Evelyn. <laughs> Alright, back into the... Y'all got bukkake by an oak tree. Mmm, <laughs> 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 sappy. I don't Bukaki remember having that much trouble tree. last time. We, uh... Oh man, it's like from Evil Dead. We had trouble the this time event. because the possession actually worked. Well, it didn't work. But, yeah. What is what is the possession working to you, Daniel? Is that like somebody dies? No, that's actually someone getting possessed. And doing stuff. Alright, so it'll take you a day. Pardon me. Which means, GG. Random encounter, potentially. Come on, yeah. roll an 18 or a 19. Roll 20. God, no. Six. What do we have? Is six? it Batman? It's not Batman. Oh, it's those damn, damn bird assholes again. Is it Man Bat? Nope. But yeah, it doesn't mean we don't actually fight anything at all. It's nice and quiet. Nope. Oh. I just need to find the token. The map. Is it Barbara Streisand? It is not <laughs> Barbara Streisand. Is, is Zephyros being Strike? like, hey, you guys still have my pillows? <laughs> no, it is not. Is it the nice old lady with the trolley full of sweets? <laughs> <laughs> is it oh, the okay. baller? <laughs> Y'all caught them killers yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 
That's a reference. Yes, we yeah. got the reference. We got the reference. Is it Grob Shack the Dabola? It's not Grob Shack the Dabola. Aww. It is a pair of manticores. Fuck! I thought you were on good hey, terms with them, didn't you? Hey, manticore buddies! Hey! Do they look Gang, sign them. Well, oh, actually, I wouldn't recognize them now, man. Do they, do they smell the uh, smell of other manticores on me? Well, oh. if everyone would like to heal themselves up, because it is a new day. Yeah. So we've had, had a night's rest then? Yes. Oh, fucking you come to find out it was a female manticore, and now they're trying to mate with you. Would we <laughs> change positions since... Yeah, yeah, you can set yourself as and where. You're running out of uh, yep. cultists. We really are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have they been teaching somebody how to drive this fucker? Well, yeah, me and you. They've, they've started teaching you a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm is right. it like surprisingly different from? Is it much different from piloting a regular ship? Just you got to worry about the X axis. I mean the Z axis. Pretty much. Yeah. What about the W axis? No, there's no W axis. Ah, uh, hardy ha. Yeah. Can everybody roll me initiative, please? Because they they they're coming in hot. Ooh. Crit for you. Man the harpoons. So as your um. Flying over the great forest what? towards the grandfather tree, two manticores well. leap out of the. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Canopy. Canopy. Thank you. Oh, God's sake! There. What is it being crit? And uh, begin to fling their tail spikes at the ship. Gerald, what would you like to do? Um, harpoon. Oh, what is uh, that? Nah, fuck that. I can shoot harder than the fleet harpoons the myself. They're gonna, they're gonna teabag the ship. <clears throat> Blanket. Uh, did you roll for the? No, you didn't. Did I roll for the what? The crewmen. Cold tests. No, I didn't. I'm gonna cast magic arrow. I can if you want me to. Yeah. Cause we gave him crossbows, didn't we? They have weapons now. Do they have weapons? Yeah, yes. crossbows. And all the millions Gaplins. of spears that you guys have got. <laughs> do we have some kind uh, of spear launcher? Yeah, it's called a ballista. Yeah, I'm going to do what one. Gerald, what are you doing? You're going to shoot them, yeah? Magic weapon, shoot, use your balaki. Cool. Nearest one. I'm well, glad you're the front. I'm so interested in this. Oh, for fuck's That's sake. a mess. It falls into right. the canopy. That is also a mess. Fuck's sake. Sorry. Did I use yes. a funny bone? My elbow. <laughs> yes, you did. I'm sorry. Ow. <laughs> oh, God, ow. <laughs> well, just what would you like to do? Uh, how far away are they? Uh, that one is literally 20 foot away. Okay, I will head towards the end to guard one of the uh, cultists. cultists. And I Ballista? will have have my... Wait, do I have a ballista? Yeah. But you have a ballista you, you at the back. Nice to get off it and... No, I'll, I'll trust... I'll let him shoot it. Alright. We need but... to stick a bunch of spears around if you want to throw them. Well, I've got... Javelins. I've got javelins. Okay. So, yeah. Stop chucking javelins. God, everything about that was wrong. Everything was wrong with that. Everything. That's a miss. Bloody hell. Second, try. One? Second one. Yeah, try again. That'll get him. That'll get him. <laughs> Like, come on. For five. They don't have any special resistances. It takes five whole lovely damage. Dinian. How far off the front is that one? Uh, as it says on the map. Okay, so it's not like far or far off or anything. No. I'm going to shoot it. <coughs> oh, goodness. I'm going to shoot it with my bow. Cool. My short bow. That will hit. Damn, they have a shit AC then. Well, they're not wearing armor. No, they've just got their own natural tough skin. That's not something I gotta create sneak attack on, would it? 
Uh, you would, yes, because you're a quad popper. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no one else around. You're a fancy. Mm. I'm fancy. Oh. Mm. Something, something, small penis. What? I don't know. You just want to shit on Dinian, don't you? <laughs> no, it's not, not about really. the size of the penis. It's about how well you can use it. Which Prove it. Pretty bad. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Roll Wait. for skill. That half orc's mine. <laughs> Aren't you? I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> what was what was that? Half orc's mine. Oh, sorry. What was that? So what Manticore that? took twenty-five damage. Yeah, Manticore took twenty-five damage. Anything else, Dinian, or have you uh, spent yourself already? <laughs> he then cries deeply about his tiny penis. Yeah, Dinian. I don't get a, I don't get a second like attack with the bow. Oh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> He's finished. In the first round. Um, <laughs> Subo mm, walks up to the massive... <laughs> I walk up to the massive front blister, I jump on it, I aim it at the front fucking manticore, and I would like to pew pew pew. Alright, plus six. With a 19 to fucking hit. That will hit, that's uh, 3d10. 17 damage. Very nice. I didn't type. No, it didn't type. Curse you. Okay. The manticores. This one starts to flee. Because it ain't dying. Exactly. That's just... Ow! Ow! Uh, this one... Would probably fire its tail spikes at Bellatrist. Like bitch. Question. Yes. With that front ballista, uh -huh. would it have gone through the manticore at all? Uh, does it or matter? Just... Or why have you put the rope on the thing? That's always had the rope on it. We've never taken it off. Uh, the, no, it wouldn't have punctured all the way through. Oops. Wah, wah. First one is a hit. Ooh, Second ow. one is a hit. Oh. Third one ow. is a hit. Oh, fucking hell. 3D. Eight plus nine. Ow. <laughs> Twenty-three points of damage. I think that's the most damage I've taken. It's, it's, it's so... just, and you just get pounded by these tail spikes. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Tessel. I think I'll grab some of the spears and lob a couple of them at the one that's back. Oh, All right, go ahead. First attack. Fifteen. Do I look like a porcupine right now? <laughs> Not yet. You look like the beginnings of a porcupine. Yeah. Wait, what was the attacks for spears again? Uh, the... it's your dex. So it'd be your normal stuff. I mean, what's the damage? Oh, that's d6 plus your dex mod. Okay. Five, and the second one... Twelve. That's not gonna miss. hit. It bounces off its tough hide. Alright. Uh, so trait starts... Uh, looks at Subaru and says, do you want me to reel this in? Yeah, boy. Alright, he starts to reel it in. The manticore slowly gets start to pull back. I thought you said it didn't penetrate all the way through. Yeah, oh. but it's still in, like, it's not, it's still inside it. Oh, uh, okay. It does look like it's slowly being pulled out, but mm -hmm. at the moment it is pulling the manticore back. Ooh, that must really hurt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Ooh, that's, that's mean. Whereas the Why do you guy, encourage him? is going to take a shot at the back manticore and miss. Mm -hmm. Good job, Ariscus. Or neither off, whatever. <laughs> it's wrong. Lucifer. Yes. What would you like to do? Um, which one have we started attacking already? Both of them. Top right was trying to flee and the bottom left one is trying to um, attack us. Is, is filling Bellatrist with its spikes. It's turned into a pin cushion, but, you know. Then I will guiding bolt that one. Cool. I am a pin cushion. It's 14 hit. At will. Just. Yes. Just. 
So that's seven. Justice rains from above. That's 76 plus six. It takes 41 points of damage. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Lavender lights him up. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, it's smoldering and looks like it's about to flee. And it is also lit up. Gerald. Do you now have advantage on your first attack on him? On the bottom one. Was that a bird? What was that? Or just a squeaky Sounded wheel? like a squeaky door. Um, yeah, that was um, a squeaking door. Sorry. That's all right. It's okay. Gerald, what would you like to do? Press. Is he muted? He is muted. He's dead. Whoops, my bad. He fucking plonker. <clears throat> I'm actually going to aim a shot at that one. Do it properly this time. At the top right one, okay. Yeah. Well, then you don't have advantage. Fuck you, then. That will hit. Doing 13 damage. It is still flying. Think of these, and I'm gonna actually very quickly turn around and shoot the other one as hard as I can. Alright, you got advantage. So, uh, sharp shooting. That will miss. You... Wait, I have the standard shot, so ain't my bad. Alright, you can roll a second standard shot. My bad. That will hit. That one does 23 damage. And it drops out of the sky. Ow. Alatrist. Um, Not really much I can do because it would take me too long to reach the other side, wouldn't it? How far is it? Super wants this uh, one. He will let you know. If Super is like, this one's mine, I'll be like, fine, and I just start slowly pulling spikes out of me, just like, ow. Alright. Ow. <laughs> she gonna suffer poison? Ow. Dimian. She doesn't, like, feel any, like, poisonous effects. Okay. They're just real sharp. Well, that's good. Well, I'm gonna shoot the other manticore, because... Dimian. What? We can have it as a pet. I don't... <sighs> can we... You no. can try and tame ignore, it. ignore little dad. Every time he says he wants something as a pet, it goes horribly wrong. We he has never succeeded. I mean, I mean what uh, are the chances? What is involved in such a task? Animal handling. <laughs> Only one time we've ever gotten a monster as a pet that worked out well was the spider back in one of our first campaigns that yeah, I played. Yeah, well. no, no, we no. have. You did also <clears throat> get the griffin eggs. Oh yeah, but we never... just didn't we mature have... enough to actually be usable. Yeah. I have negative one animal handling, so I don't see that happening. Like, long ago in my first D and D game. Was that the one where you hit yourself in the balls with your warhammer? No. <laughs> Wait, could have been no, because uh, you just have a knack for hitting yourself, yourself in the, in the balls, cage. don't you? <laughs> uh, Super, what is your animal handling skill? My animal handling is a uh, <laughs> plus zero. I'm going for piss. <laughs> Yeah, this fuck it, I'm killing him. It's just gonna be them arguing about trying Please to. Please don't stand on my balls. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, it does. Okay. The, the ship does shifts it... forward a little bit as it weighs on the, the bra uh, prow of the ship. We're gonna try harvest them? Or... Yeah, I'll keep on reeling this one in. Alright, you reel it in. You can. 24 uh, tail spikes from its tail, which can be used as darts. Or oh, boot shivs. Oh. Or as shivs, yes. So, I wait, I can throw them as darts? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, it's 24 darts for me. Unless anyone else wants them. Anyone else want darts? Um, I mean, can I have another one for boot shiv for the other boot? Oh, yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah, and I have two boot shivs. Two boot shivs. Are, they, are they poisonous? They are not poisonous. Hands? No. It, they? Poison glands. it does not have poison glands. You said I could milk the one for manticore poison. No, I didn't. Yes, yeah, you, you did. did. You I did. lied. Yes. Mm. 
<clears throat> Given one from thing. So it's just the dart then. So I got twenty four. So does it mean I got all twenty four, or do you still you want to be a reboot? Okay, twenty three. Write that shit down. What are they like as a weapon? What do they score as? Uh, they'd be a D four. Yes, yeah, a D four plus your um. Next it's one. a finesse as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And if you got proficiency in simple weapons, that's a plus six. To attack. Yeah. And attack rolls, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just looking. You're looking at uh, my shortbread. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, minus no, my shortbread. You're ruining your appetite for dinner. Well, I'm starving. So am I. <laughs> oh, you've got... You got a dinner yet? No. I, I can't eat dinner before D&D &D or before the sick. Uh, or I'll just start farting uncontrollably. No, I'll feel sick. Not unless I have it at like, you know, three hours beforehand, which in that case it's not dinner, it's lunch. Okay, you continue onwards. Is everyone talking? Can we... No, not at no. the moment. Okay. Can we get anything else off of it? Uh, you can pull its wings off if you really want to. You can get to. the fucking pricks out of me. I I will wait. Dinian's in you. He tried. He tried real hard. I will, I will volunteer to remove the pricks. <laughs> Actually, you're not there yet. Yeah, can there's I, a few. There's I, a few on my back. Can Can you yank them out? Can I roll for a, for a sleight of hand to just Great. pull them all out? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Can I roll? <laughs> no, you, you don't need to roll sleight of hand for that. You just pull the pricks out. You, you have very much practice at pulling the prick out. <laughs> wow, what is this map? What the fuck? Can't see have shit. we traveled back in time? Where am I? Oh, there I am. And if you look in the that. corner down to the left, you'll see some other else. Oh. Just... Down to the left. Oh, oh it's, all the way out. it's Ashnag and Ki and Kendra and <laughs> us. What? <laughs> what? What? Well, we went down left and then we were black. What happened? Yep. Nothing happened. Man, this this dragon giant thing must be really fucking with like time or whatever. Yep. Totally. Is yep. wrong with Gerald's character? Token seems to be me well, messed up. He's high. What, what did I miss? Why are we oh, here? No, he's right here? Yeah, but You're... he doesn't have a name or a fucking thing. Oh, I must not have. Uh... <sighs> this doesn't look like anywhere we're supposed to be going. Okay. Alright, well, if you give me a fucking minute, Jesus. As you are flying Jesus! Towards, uh, towards the grandfather tree. Breaking out of the the vast canopy of the forest is a tree bigger than any of you have ever seen. I mean, it, it is measuring probably around 350 foot high. And there is a clearing around it. Uh, of about a mile or so wide, maybe two. And, you know, you land your usual uh, mile out and walk up, just in case. And as you are marching, you see, running towards you, uh, about a dozen or more, maybe more, probably more, uh, barbarians. Great. 17 barbarians, one of those witch doctors, and some really weird swordsmen. Hmm. That's right. You see that the back rank uh, is wielding short bows made of horn, and the front two ranks are wielding spears. See, the back rank is holding bows. Short bows made of horn, yes. Quick, quick question How long did it take us to get to this big tree? Uh, you, you're not quite there yet. Like, it's a few hundred meters away. Well, I mean, like, the travel time to where oh, we're at. Uh, you can kind of... still. Um, it's the same day as the Manticore fight. Okay, that's what I was wondering. So you would have taken 23 damage. Or was it 26? 23. We might need those lines. Cool. 
Alright. I'm still hurt as fuck. They, they uh, march up to you and stop at about there. Uh, you guys can arrange yourself as, as you want. Super's cool. Uh, and the gentleman at the back, uh, flourishing uh, a very ornate looking longbow, uh, shouts out at you in common. Turn back or be put back. Put back where? From whence you came. You'd have to Sorry, turn back can't do that. first. <laughs> uh, yeah, my parents well. are dead, so good fucking luck. Like, wouldn't we have hit, wouldn't um Lucifer have healed Bellatrist with like his healing wouldn't bonus Lucifer or whatever? Would like to have healed Bellatrist? For, for three points. Twenty-three points. Oh, twenty-three points. Yeah. So I probably want to start with full health. Uh, Gerald um, tele- says a message telepathically saying, what, are you threatening us? What have we done? Can we not talk? Uh, you telepathically receive a message back. I am threatening you. You stand upon sacred ground upon which you are not welcome. Turn back or be put back. Old gang sign then. Do we need to do do we need to do this? What gang sign to us? Yeah. Oh. Well, Dinian Dinian will be well, give him one chance. Uh, Lucifer, are you casting a spell on on the Bellatrist during during before you get here, obviously, to a, a field though. Three D four plus one. Wait, are you, are you giving her the cup? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a spell. Okay. Since we the cup the seems to be, she'd be like, "No, I know what that shit does. That's weird." You have no idea what it does. You just assume. I will. But you get I a heal s- for eighteen points. Yeah. I will step out front, and I would like to roll persuasion to parlay. Oh god! <laughs> this Tommy wants to get it right. I want to parlay with their leader, but we don't have a dragon. All right, what are you saying? I'm simply saying I would like to talk to you before either of us gets hurt to maybe tell us why we need to back down, and perhaps we can tell you why we need to not back down. Can I roll persuasion? He says to you, You stand upon the sacred ground of the tree ghost. Speak your honeyed words and we shall judge you. I would ask that he comes forward. He refuses. All right, I'll settle for this. Look, we have reason to believe that there's a relic, a giant relic here, that we need to save the world. There is a war waging between the dragons and the giants, and the only way we could possibly stop this is with these relics, which is why we desperately need to need to enter these grounds, holy or not. If we don't stop them then everything could potentially be destroyed. We don't know how serious this could get. He looks troubled for a moment. And then confers with his uh, shaman for a second. Uh, Those of you who are magically inclined see that the shaman begins to cast a spell. Guys, prepare for trouble. I make a double. Should we make a double? Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I at least say to him, we don't have to enter the ground. If you go get the relic and the bigger here, then we won't have to enter the ground at all. And then we could leave. He, he, like, as, as you start to talk, he just holds his hand up. Ah. Uh, a minute passes of the shaman casting a spell. And, um... He 
he, would you he... recognize what the spell was? Uh, maybe an arcana check. Can I do so? Can I you also may. do an arcana you check? You cannot. Come on, I have a plus three. You're more. not trained in magic. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. oh god, Yeah, I'm so good at arcana. Oh, I would like to use my initi um, inspiration. You may. Would you like to do the same, Gerald? <laughs> yes. Yeah, super. You've got. You like. You think she's just. You know, make it mumbo, going crazy. mumbo jumbo to like convince him that she's a shaman. <laughs> Gerald, you can see she's casting the augury spell. Okay. What's that do? Well, you don't know that Gerald knows. I will... Unless unless Gerald tells you. I will. Sign that they're. Make it the talking with their gods. Well, that can go either really well or really poorly. The the leader looks up and says, "Ufka says that this will go well. You may pass, but speak Huzzah. of nothing that you see. We will never tell a soul." Um, I raise my hand and say, well, if it's, well, not out loud, I'll obviously mentally, I'll just go, well, as I said, well, why don't you go get the artifact? And if the guy says us, we can, that, if the guy says we can go. You don't know he's saying the artifact, uh, oh, okay. You just see me sort of put a hand up and I say, if you go get the artifact, we need not let it your lab if it's something that concerns you so. You get back almost like, uh, obviously you can't like, really convey tone telepathically, but it feels like a whip crack in your mind. You would have me be a servant to you, a slave, to come fetch and hither as you would. I'd say, of course not, but these lads are sacred to you. Oh, would... someone slap him, please. <laughs> don't know but... what's happening. Suba, knock that helmet off his head. Um, as I, I just want to say, I apologise, I meant no disrespect. I just want to keep... Please forgive me. Ufgar has blessed this action, so for once I will not take your head, but should I see you again, you will die. So we can proceed. And he, he raises his hand and speaks a language that you've heard but you still don't recognise and they all uh, begin to march off we best do this quick then some of the barbarians are looking back very sort of like grumpily I wave oh I want to stab him with my spear I'm sorry <laughs> hmm. so I forward. guess I guess we can't have an orgy every time we run into <laughs> barbarians it's I a shame. Gang side as a walk off. Wow. Perspective really means a lot. Yeah, no shit. Now you're midgets. Back to the 50 foot ring. Yeah, I love how it's like, oh yeah, each thing is a 50 foot thing. And then the centre's a 50 foot thing. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming you're going to also adjust them? Yes, I will. Ooh, don't want you that small. Gerald is a giant. Traitor! Wait, what? Oh, of course. So you, you walk uh, closer to the, the grandfather tree, and you see a small herd of centaurs also approaching it from a different direction. Uh -oh. The wind is uh, blowing towards you, and an unearthly stench of death is just hitting you in the face. I hold my breath. <laughs> what, you, you don't you need can to all breathe? smell it. Don't right. hold my breath. I like some lavender incense. <laughs> Excellent. Ugh. Does it smell like it's coming from the centaurs we can see? It's coming from their direction. Ugh. Well... May as well go say hi to the natives. Okay. So you walk, you keep heading forwards? 
Yeah. Yeah. All Wait, right. towards the tree or towards the centaurs? Uh, it's the same direction at the moment. Okay. Do they look like they're like oh, they're armed, like they're going to attack or anything? Uh, they they do look armed. They have. Uh, what are they they probably, I would assume spears and, and bows and whatnot. Mm. Pikes and hooves and longbows. But no, they don't. They don't look outwardly hostile. If anything, they they look sort of um, dispirited, miserable. Hmm. Hmm. They they approach one of the uh, outer trees. I'd probably be miserable too if I lived in somewhere small like this. And like those of you with sharp eyes, which would probably be the Hi. eyes, uh, see a woman uh, step out from one of the trees and begins to converse with one of the centaurs. Do I know what she is? Uh, make me an arcana or a nature check. Well, they're both the same. I suppose I can't roll investigation, so... No, you can't roll investigation. Uh, let me do arcana, because you've been cock-blocking me all day to roll arcana. <laughs> yeah! You would know that that is a dryad. I will inform everyone else that a dryad came out of one of the trees. Who the fuck is eating? That would be Sarah. Sorry. She's eating shortbread. Where's my shortbread? Where's my shortbread? Oh, I ate it already. Yeah. The shortbread's in your pants. <laughs> wow. There's just so much smack that's going on. Okay. Uh, you keep walking forwards? Yep. Yes. I would actually be intentionally going a bit slow as I approach because I don't want to, like, upset yes. anyone. Hands hands out as non-threatening and friendly as possible. And as you step towards this tree, a dryad comes out towards you. You got I any crap? Bow. <laughs> I, <got what's> <laughs> I bow. Hello. Are you speaking in common? Um, actually, I'm going to try speaking in Elvish. As you speak in Elvish, uh, she nods and says, Why have you come here? Is she replying in Elvish? Yes, she is. Right. Um, we've come for a relic to stop an imminent war between the giants and the dragons that has a pretty good chance of laying waste to the whole world. And you think the relic is here? We have it on pretty good authority. It's apparently some kind of relic from the giants. Uh, make me a and persuasion check. RNG gods, please be merciful. She, she frowns for a moment and says, Very well, you may search, but you must not damage the tree. We wouldn't dream of it. Grandfather um, is very old. Is it? Does oh the grandfather have a dryad in it as well? She giggles. No, of course not. Are you his daughters? She sort of like does like a, a like a weird maybe sort of symbol with head. Like you could call us that, I suppose. Well, if you don't mind me asking, do you have any idea where such a thing would be? She shakes her head. No. We tend to grandfather's needs, but we have no notion of this relic of which you speak. How long has the grandfather tree been here? Since before time. For as long as anyone can remember. Hmm. Oh great, it's old and really important. One of us is going to fuck it up. It's old as balls. It is said I... that he was the first tree. That all trees have grown from his acorns. Would it wouldn't be offensive if I were to climb up into the branches to see if there's something possibly up there? Probably. That's um, she she faints for a moment. Says perhaps that is not the best of ideas. I could look in the branches without um touching the um without touching the your the grandfather. Can you, speak El can you speak Elvish? No, he's speaking telepathically, mm. which 
transcends yeah. language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But she nods we... and says back that that would be okay. Okay, well then we're going to check around. Can I investigate the grandfather tree? You may. Roll me an investigation check. Um, can I assist? Uh, oh. If you really want to. I'm, I'm trading uh, investigation. Alright. Between so. the two of you, you, uh, you head up to, to the grandfather tree and you look around. Uh, you find that uh, between two of its roots is actually an opening. Well... This looks like it might be the thing. Um, I can I call over to the dryad and ask if we can go in. Uh, yeah. in my grandfather. She she looks over and it's like we had no knowledge of this, of course. But please be careful of his roots. We will be very careful. Um, just I mean, do you want to come with us? I don't know if you've ever been inside it. She shakes her head it's like no, I, I I would never dream of. Of entering grandfather like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not incestuous. You fuck. I'm okay. going to shag my grandfather, you weirdo. Apologies, apologies. We will be very gentle. So, do we go inside the grandfather tree then? Yeah, you, you'd have to, um, like, crawl. Uh, into it, I yes. think I would wait outside because I'm just kind of like, I'm a bit of a brute. I don't want to accidentally knock something over. So, I'll. Well, I'll I wait. am. I am just excel at sneaking in into places carefully and not hurting anything. The centaurs are squeezed. like watching you like with curiosity. They still uh, really stink. Okay, I kind of I, 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 I crinkle up my nose a little bit, but I will actually like if they don't look like they're going to attack. I will no, actually... they, they see that like a dryad has obviously let you approach, so they're not going to fuck with you. So I, I will actually start to approach them. Although I'm guessing as I get closer. No, they they stand their ground. They look interested. Okay. Alright, Dinny, you um, start to crawl in. Sorry, yes, go ahead. Uh, have we slept since um, the no. Manticores? Have, no, we slept have, since, have we slept since we've been to yes. the tree? Yeah. So I've got a good one last bit. Okay, I offer to accompany Dinny. Do you want him to accompany you, Dinny? Yeah, why not? That way he can drag my corpse out if there's something nasty out in here. Alright. So, Denny, and I'm assuming he's going first? Yep. Alright, Gerald, you get a great view of Denny and ass. <laughs> Enjoy, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, as you crawl in among the roots, uh, you eventually get down to a chamber where there is uh, a sort of root knot. And on top of the knot... Uh, looks to be, to your eyes, a uh, talk. A what? It's like a, a necklace. It's all one piece. Oh, like, um, God, one of those bands with the, yeah, like, knot yes, exactly. the Alright, is it, like, wound its way into the tree at all? Nope. It's just sat on top of it. it looks to be just made on of top of it. And it's etched with runes that you have started to recognize as giant. I will ask Gerald if he can sense any hoodoo traps or anything. And can I also uh, roll perception to see if there's any, like, physical traps? You may. I, tell him, I uh, say mentally that uh, I'm not a thief. I have no training in disarming of traps. May I help you find well, them, but... Dealing with them, you have to be your area. Did I don't know, can you, you sense any traps? traps? Alright. I will. Check yourself. I will very gently remove the torque from right. the knot. It, it weighs a fair amount. It feels about 25 pounds in weight. Well, how big is it? Uh, you could wear it around your neck. No. I put it around my neck. Alright. Easy way to carry it out. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That, that's, I don't want to just let the dryads. Alright, Bellatrist, you have approached the centaurs. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, problem is, I have no idea if they can speak common, so I'm just like, uh... Can you speak Elven? Nope. Would you like me to speak Elven to him? Probably you can speak the Elven? Best. Yeah, I speak Elven. Alright, so testing oh, okay. your approach as well. Mm -hmm. They, they like, sort of nod respectfully at you both. Uh, I go to speak and then I'm like, I actually don't know any naturey languages. I don't know, it looks pretty naturey. I speak Elven. I then go, How are you doing today in Elven to them? They they look surprised that a human can speak Elven. Uh and they, they respond uh Well, perhaps not at our best. What well, seems to be the problem? We we found some ruins uh, in the in the forest, and we were investigating to see if we could find anything of value or of danger. And we uh, we happened across a trap that cursed us. Well, that does seem troubling. Mm. And so we have come to rest next to Grandfather to be cured. Lucifer's got stuff. Would he have anything to do purifications? Like holy water and stuff to help? Uh, you don't know. Ah, oh, shit. What, are, what did they get stank with? Uh, they've been cursed. So they have some kind of Stink curse. They've literally just been cursed with a curse of death type thing. Uh, well, they, if Tessel asks... Uh, yeah, I ask them what type of curse they've got. Well, we reek. Our uh, injuries never heal. And we are unable to eat or drink without vomiting profusely. Which sounds kind of like me, actually. <laughs> oh, Wait, they reek! No. No, Chris. No. Oh! I, to. I actually do have Remove Curse, so yes, I can help them. Okay. I tell this to Bellatrice and ask her if it would be okay if she could check Lucifer to see if he has anything that could help them. I, I, so I do speak me. Elvish, so I, I tell can... You, I tell you all this, yeah. I, I just understand everything you're saying. Yeah, but you, me and Lou, did you come with us? To the yeah. Okay. Alright. So, yeah, you can help. They they look surprised uh, at the offer of help. So, uh, thank you. We did not expect aid from humanoids. Normally, you are here to to raid and to steal and to cut down the forests. Helping out those that are in need is one of the few teachings that I still remember. We will gladly take any aid you you offer. All right, how many can you remove curse from? Um, how many are there? There are seven. And I need a whole day to uh, recharge, huh? Yeah. Well, at the moment, I can do two of them, but I can do three per day. Uh, so that would be two days. They, they uh, say you can kill two of us now if you wish, but after a day of resting underneath Grandfather's tree, uh, Grandfather's um, watch, we will all be better again anyway. Is the tree magical or something? They nod. How do they know what I'm saying, though? Because I can't... I, I would actually, point. I would just say um, out loud... I, I would actually ask out loud, like, expecting hopefully Lucifer or... Tessel to translate, oh, is the tree magical or something? Well, it is an extremely old tree. Chance of our having magic is most likely. You guys, I've got a really bad feeling about this. Dun dun. At this point, uh, Dinian and Gerald come out of the tree. Dinian's got a new necklace. Okay. 
What's up? You see that they're all chatting with the centaurs. They will saunter over. <laughs> they still stink. I can't smell a thing. Man. Don't we all have, like, the gift of restoration still? You do. How many charges would it take to remove a curse? Uh, I don't remember how many charges you have. We have six We should each. all have six. Apart from Gerald. And I think yeah. it's three. It's two for minor, four for major. What does this count as? I think it's one, I think it's one. Let's have one. a Luke. Let's, and then three for greater. Uh, four, four for greater and two for lesser. Yeah. What kind of curse is this? Uh, you think, from what they tell me, that uh, a greater restoration spell would be enough to break their curses. So it's okay. greater. Yeah. I don't mind giving up four of my charges to help them out. So that'll be three. Hmm. So I suppose Lucifer, I can... So if Lucifer I suppose I'll does, spend four of mine. That's four. So if Lucifer does two, and if we can all do four, if we so choose, we can actually cure them all right now. That's up to everyone. Could do. Yeah. Kind of just burning a hole in my pocket, or soul, or All whatever. Right. So, they they look surprised. And like, Thank you. And you you all uh, bless them and do your ritual and give them the light, or whatever. Uh, oh, and the snake light. One centaur that is is bigger than the rest uh, walks up and holds out his bow and says. As thanks for aiding my herd. And should you ever find yourself in the forest again, call and we will find you. So what's he handing over? He's handing over his bow. What kind uh, of bow is it? It is... It's a wee... bow. This. So oh, I want it. The yeah. actual kind of bow. Weapon longbow, very rare, requires attunement. Elvis, sweet death to my enemies. Yep, you got yourself an epic bow, mate. Is that, can I have the bow? I, have the bow? I want the bow. Fuck you. Oh, he gets the bow. Well, he's just he's handing it over to someone. I'll probably end up it. picking it up. I'll, I'll hold on to it because I was the one that told everyone to heal up. I will look at it, but I won't lie other people would. Part of the group would actually may have better claim, but it's like. Uh, he is the archer. I'm, I am an archer. Hmm. So That's I a get pretty bow. Attack. It is a very nice bow. Um, yeah. Actually, as a rogue, would you actually have proficiency with longbow? He's an I'm, elf. An he elf. has proficiency. Ah, yeah. I'm like, literally, like, just you just put me a stick in a string. I can kill anything. Alright, I think that's going to be a good time to call it if they argue over loot. If they're going to argue over the loot. He can't use it. What he can't mean? say the word. I'm also going to point oh out... Oh my god, he can't. That's a good point. <laughs> Gerald can't use you it. have to say it in Elvish, too. Yeah. So that is... Re that is Screwed yours. by your own RP. Yeah. So it's like, who? It's just me and Tessel? I can't use longbows. I have no proficiency. Oh. So that leaves it else? with Indian. Yeah, it's yours. Sure. You Gerald, officially get the oath bow. GG, Gerald, you played yourself. <laughs> yep. Um, well, unless it provides a massive... Is, is a longbow action. considered a simple weapon? No, it's, an, it's no. a martial weapon. Oh. The only benefit I would have for it is it's considered magical. I wouldn't necessarily have to use magic weapon, magic weapon spell. Well, you also get the 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 advantage stuff. Yeah. Free and 3d6 free free extra piercing. And yeah. you ignore anything other than total cover. But the three DC piercings only against your sworn enemy, which you have to say the phrase in Elvish. Yeah. Yes, but I could use it better than you can. But you can't speak. I. You could can't teach me. What? Yeah, he, he could teach you the phrase, but you don't want to speak. You choose not to. Speak. You have chosen in role. Yeah, play. you can't. You actually. You are a mute. <laughs> I just. I just actually, actually look at him and that's say. That's a question. Actually, those I'm spells to him, actually, parts? I'm not mute. What? What? Mentally you really want that? I'm not mute. 
You're no, willing to break no, character. He's, no, he's he is not. No, I can confirm he is not mute. He just chooses not to talk. He has a reason for it. Mm-hmm. And he's willing to All break right. this for the bow. Says, if I did not actually speak to any of you directly as in try and converse with you, it will be fine. Ah, I cannot so actually talk book. to you as, as in at you. If I do, things start to go wrong. Okay. So, first we have to think, you can use your magic weapon to turn your weapon into a magic weapon, but Dean, do you have a magic weapon? No. Dinian doesn't have a magic weapon at all, I don't think. It was, it was a happy day just getting my extra rapier. <laughs> yeah. So, theoretically, he could use the bow until he can get something else that might be more helpful, like a magic rapier or something like that. So we all have, like, magic of damage, I think. I just... It's, like, it's fair enough, it's just... <laughs> It's something I can use well, but it's a fair Yeah, point. that is true. Wait a minute. Okay. End of the day, end of the day two of us have a magic weapons when we need to. Oh, be very oh, dear. Okay, so what skills have you got for your um, archery? <laughs> yeah, and it turns crazy. into this. I know. All right, right. Before you get any further, we're going to call it here so that you can okay, have okay. an hour long debate <laughs> of who should get the, the bow. bow. No, no, I'm fine. I'm Thank you all me. for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you again next time. Later, guys. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.